What's up Martians, so Nick Romano is one of the candidates running for the Mayor of London and with voting literally ending tomorrow, the question has emerged, does Nico even have a chance of winning? Well today I'm going to be taking a deep dive into that question and analysing whether he actually has a chance of being the next Mayor of London. Now I feel like I should start this video by saying this is not, and I repeat, not a political video. I literally am just making this for fun just to calculate his chances of actually becoming mayor. So I think the best place to start to get a general idea of what professionals think is the polls. And then I'll come to my own conclusion using facts from previous elections. So the majority of polls put Nico as the fifth most popular candidate, giving him 5% of the overall vote. And most election experts do agree that Nico will get a small percentage of the vote. So that's kind of where the general consensus lies. Now let's get into what data says. So it's no surprise that Nico's primary audience is between the ages of 13 up to 30 which is important to keep in mind. Now, according to publicly available census data, in London, 17.2% of people are between the ages of 20 to 29, which is 1.1 million people out of 6.9 eligible voters in London. Now, the criteria to win is also very important because that's like the mark you have to reach in order to become London mayor because not all eligible voters use their right to vote. Out of the last three London mayor elections, only 43% of people actually vote according to London elects which means roughly 3 million people vote. But you only need 51% of that 3 million to guarantee yourself a win. So if Nico can finesse his way to getting 1.6 million votes, then the NDL will take over London. And it's important to factor as well, along with the considerable numbers of young people that will vote for Nico, there will be a small percentage of his kid audience that have convinced their parents or grandparents into voting for Nico. But it's unknown how much of an effect that will have on the actual election. Now I'm not sure how realistic it is for Nico to get over 1 million votes, which is basically what is needed to have a chance of actually becoming mayor. But with rogue candidates like this, it's difficult to tell because they can get a thousand votes, but sometimes they get like 3 million. So it's really Really difficult to predict how well they'll actually do. Also, Nico's audience is primarily based in the UK and around London, which will help him a lot, and has had some promotion from very influential people in the UK, such as KSI and the Sidemen. Real, unreal, man. He's got my vote. He's got my vote. Come on, Nico for mayor. Let's go, but I'm so down. I, I don't vote. Which will no doubt have very positive effects on his efforts. So here's my conclusion. Using all this publicly available census data and all the facts that I brought to this video, I think that Nico will get between 600,000 and 700,000 votes, which unfortunately will probably not be enough for him to secure the mayor. But if he does get 600,000 votes, then that is a significant percentage of the total votes. But as I said earlier, it's really difficult to predict with these rogue candidates because they can get 10,000 votes, but they can also get like 4 million. So he might blow us all out the water and get like 2 million votes and be strong straight in that mayor's office, but equally he might only get like 50,000, which unfortunately will definitely not be enough for him to secure the mayor. That is my conclusion, roll the outro. Thank you so much for watching. The goal for this challenge is to reach a thousand subscribers, so make sure you absolutely destroy that subscribe button. Here's the comment shout out from the last video. Go and join the Discord right now, it's the first link in the description. Honestly, it's so it'll be so worth it. If you have any comments or like questions for me, I'll, I'm on there every single day to respond to them. Follow all my socials, the link will be in the description, and I'll see you in the next one.